Winter in Chicago means snow, and sometimes plenty of it. On days like today, when there's a large amount of snowfall, a peculiar thing happens. A variety of objects are used to reserve parking spots on the street. Here in Chicago, it's known as dibs. In our city, you have to become seasoned in dealing with snow. The city's plows clear the streets, but building owners are responsible for salting and clearing the sidewalks. If you own a car, you will become familiar with having to dust off the snow and digging it out which, depending on the amount of snow, can take a lot longer than expected. Once you pull away from your freshly cleared parking spot, there is no guarantee that it will be there for you when you return. After all, it is a public street. Dibs came about as a way to mark your own hard work and secure the space for when you return. Of course, it's not legal and the city frowns upon it, but that doesn't stop people from doing it. The history of Dibs actually doesn't go back that far and, of course, it was the weather that really started it all. The big snow of 1967 was the worst snowstorm in Chicago's history. It dumped 23 inches of snow in the city, it shut down O'Hare, and left an estimated 20,000 cars and 500 buses stranded on the roads. Shortly after the storm, the Chicago Tribune posed the question of if an automobile owner has any special rights to a parking spot which they had spent several hours shoveling out. The post-Blizzard etiquette noted a large number of folding chairs, carpenter horses, and other objects lining the streets. Sometimes they even use the strangest of objects. Dibs is known to be in Chicago, but actually other cities with massive snowfall experience a similar sort of thing. Pennsylvania is famous for the Pittsburgh parking chair. Boston also uses the term dibs, and in certain parts of Canada, they call it park where you dig. Here in Chicago, dibs is hailed as a tradition, although it has become a polarizing topic with strong advocates on either side. There are issues with dibs. I saw several spots reserved that hadn't been dug out at all which goes against the very idea of dibs. So can anything be done about dibs? Well, no, not really. It's gonna outlive us all. As long as there's snow in Chicago, there's bound to be dibs hanging around on the street. If you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. You'll find other good videos about Chicago and Chicago history on my channel. So I'll see you around.